Hello friends, welcome to day 21 of our quarantine series of free clinic. I'm Dr. Prachi. So today is our uh, last day of this quarantine day uh, series uh, that is 21 day series. And uh, to end with, I have chosen up the topic, a very common topic, uh, which I got requested for many times before this. And that is spondylysis. So uh, you may call it spondylosis, you may call it spondylysis, you may call it spondylitis, anything, whatever you prefer. But the meaning is one and the same so spond is spine and itis or losis or isis is inflammation so that is the inflammation of the spine altogether is totally known as spondylitis or spondylosis or spondylysis so uh, let's uh, you know address it with spondylosis itself in the whole video for now so uh, basically to know spondylosis we should be knowing the whole of our spine correct uh, as we have done in all our videos to know that particular disease we have always understood the original pathophysiology and the physiology of course so with this video also we will be doing likewise and um, so here comes the first image that i have chosen for you for understanding the spine yeah so basically this is our spine okay if you zoom it you can see this is our spine now to start with that, basically, the spine, spine is this, okay? The whole thing basically is spine, right? So, to start with here is, there are, the this whole spine consists of total 33 bones, okay? So, the in, in our whole spine, there are, uh, vertebras that is bones and in between two bones there is a small vertebral disc uh, of which I'll be talking in the next few minutes. Now these 33 bones are you know organized in a particular shape. What is this shape? It is the double S shape if you can see. So this is the normal shape of our spine. Okay. Now to start with this is the neck part of our spine, which is called as cervical region. The, these contain of seven vertebras, that is C1 to C7. Then comes the back area, which is the dorsal area or the thoracic area. That is why they are the T1, T1 to T12. Okay, so these are the dorsal spine or it is known as the back spine. Next come the lumbar region that is kamar or kambar. Okay, so that is L1 to L5. These are the five bones. Then comes the sacrum. This sacrum is a very interesting bone in our uh, whole body. Sacrum is also known as makadhar in Marathi. So, basically what happens in sacrum is five bones have come together to form one bone and that is known as sacrum. So, as you can see here, in this, I'll zoom it for you. So, this is the whole sacrum. Okay, at the base of the spine it is situated. And you can see there are five bones. One, two, three, four and five. So, they have fused together to form the sacrum or sacrum. Okay. Next, after the sacrum, there is another small little bone which is known as coccyx. And it is... Again, fused to come together of four bones. So, there are two bones which consists of five and four. So, totally there are 33 bones. So, it's cervical, thoracic, lumbar, sacrum and coccyx. So, you must have seen in few MRI reports or CT reports that they say M1, M2, uh, I'm sorry, C1, C2, S1, S2, L1, L2. That is known as the that particular bone or the disc below or above that is compensated or there's a problem in that. Now, what about the disc? So, in between two vertebras, there is one disc. Now, what is this disc? Disc or kurcha or you also call it a lubricating agent which works wonderfully to hold the two vertebras in one place. Okay, so when these two vertebras are held in one place, what happens? We get good flexibility of our spine because 
if we want to live we want spine correct if we are when i'm erect it's because of my spine and the other muscles and back and all the other things coming together but most importantly it is spine so for each and every movement in our lives we want spine and for that for the bones to be intact and erect we need intervertebral disc now what is this disc as you can see this is the vertebral bone these are the two vertebral discs one is above and one is below okay so in between that is passing our spinal cord along with the spinal cord there are few here are the spinal nerves which go to supply okay there are two types of nerves again motor and sensory motor is something which is related to lifting heavy objects bending and all these things sensory is uh, the touch or the uh, you know sparsha gnan which we say in marathi to get that so there are two parts uh, of a nerve to get so these two nerves are the main origin of spondylosis how it can start okay now when i say spondylosis the problem mostly it's not in the bones it's mostly in the disc itself what happens to the disc is the problem that the spondylosis may arrange or arise now this spondylosis can arise anywhere in your cervical region in your back region in your lumbar or sacral region anywhere but it depends on what the exactly causes what can be the causes of spondylosis here spondylosis causes can be accidents injury uh, long sitting hours if there is a major fall or jerk exactly on your lumbar region definitely it is going to harm you so that is one uh, really important cause there are some deficiencies uh, that cause uh, disc problems again a very important cause uh, that most of us we do not understand or uh, we do it on a daily regular basis that is sedentary lifestyle that is we are just sitting and we are just affecting our main lumbar region so maximum of times all the people who work hours together on computers and sit on the chairs for hours together maximum of them there there was a survey that had been done that these people uh, when when the mris or cts are done of such people who sit uh, who have sedentary lifestyles for work properly then that time they have few uh disc problems and that is most probably slip discs or spondylosis all right so what are the disc problems that you may face we will see in a quick image so these are some of the disc problems that you may undergo okay uh along with uh the blue color this thing you can see what it is written so these are the bones yellow color creamish color are the bones blue color are the disc as you can see so this disc is the normal disc right so this is a degenerated disc that is there is few as you can see there is degeneration in the disc next is a disc bulge okay as you can see the disc has left its uh, uh, its place and it has come out so this is the disc bulge what will happen here is it will compress the nerve roots coming from here and that particular region will get pain and uh, radiations next is disc herniation this was disc bulge this was herniation that means it forms a pouch and it comes out of the bone cavity also here also the problem may arise this is something known as thinning of disc so the disc has been thinned due to the bones problem so the bones may go undergo arthritis or osteoporosis if the problem is that definitely you may get thinned disc here and this is something known as degeneration with osteophyte formation that is you can see the bones here these are somewhere which is known as not that clean surface correct both of them so this will what happens of obviously the disc will get compressed and along with the disc getting compressed the nerve roots that are being present over there they will also get compressed and ultimately you will end up in symptoms what type of symptoms we usually see in spondylosis there are three main symptoms one is pain one is radiation 
ओके दैट मीन्स दैट पर्टिकुलर नर्व रूट विच वॉज बींग कंप्रेस्ड दैट कैन अफेक्ट द नर्व रूट एंड लास्टली देर इज स्वेलिंग ऑल्सो सो द स्वेलिंग इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इन विच पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी देर इज स्वेलिंग वी मे अंडर गो वी मे कम टू नो दैट येस देर दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम इट सेल्फ नेक्स्ट मैनेजमेंट ऑफ कोर्स यू हैव टू अंडर गो फ्यू एक्सरसाइजेज देर आर फ्यू डाइट्स दैट यू कैन फॉलो फॉर स्पॉन्डलोसिस एक्सरसाइज इज अ मस्ट स्ट्रेचेस आर मस्ट एवरी डे एक्सरसाइजेज फ्यू योगासनाज ऑल्सो यू कैन अंडर गो फॉर स्पेसिफिकली spondylosis and last but not the least homeopathy treatment in homeopathy what it does is it gives good strength to your um, discs one secondly it produces good amount of hyaluronic acid which is present in our disc and due to the decrease of this hyaluronic acid results into disc problem so we have to generate good amount of hyaluronic acid in there in the disc and therefore the bones the whole spinal quality will improve by homeopathic medicines so that's it for today and this was a last video for the 21 day series uh, from tomorrow we will be starting a new series but in marathi of course relating to these health problems itself uh, please share like share and subscribe to the youtube channel also which we have opened recently and please let me know your feedbacks if you have any queries if you want to have any homeopathic treatments yes definitely we can give you online consultations also and we can give you medicines too so please feel free to contact me anytime uh, and uh, that's it for today thank you for watching the whole video stay tuned thank you